Apparently, I'm now officially a cheesehead. Thanks to Mike Crodes from Wisconsin. Cheers, Mike, for me hat. Although, when I received this, I actually thought this was a resin mold, which I reckon still could be a resin mold because it looks quite cool. And I don't think that we'd, I think this would work really well. And it could come out as a piece of cheese. Mike sent these down to me and he's a basically a registered nurse at Wisconsin, Winscott, Wisconsin Hospital in Madison, Wisconsin, US of A. And he also sent me these down, these little button type things, little caps. I think they've come off of, oh, what have they come off of? Uh, they've not come off of cheese. Oh, I think they come off of medication kind of bottles. So he sent these down to me with a kind of idea of me including this into a project. I think that'd be pretty cool, mate. Thanks very much for sending these down. And I really appreciate it. And apparently, according to Mike, that Wisconsin, Wis, Wis, am I saying that right? <laughs> Wis, Win, Wins Constant. <laughs> also known as America's Dairyland which produces lots of cheese, hence my cheese hat. Well, I do appreciate you sending this down to me. We'll see what we can make from it. I received a bit more post. I have got a few other bits and pieces here, but don't worry. It says, do not bend. I'm sure what this is, and there's no note with it either. Ah. I think that's a lion. I've no idea what these are, but I reckon that, that we could definitely, oh no, it's an eagle of some, some sorts. Um, well, that looks pretty cool. That is a swan, is it? Oh no. <laughs> I thought that was a swan, but it's not a swan. It's a cat. Or it could be a cat and a swan. An owl. It just says, from Sally. Well, thank you, Sally, for sending these down to me. I will see what we can incorporate those into. Got some air mail and some stickers. Dead Rise Woodcrafts. Hey, Nick, I would like to start with a thank you. You were the first maker I started watching and following on YouTube. Happy days. I hope that Maker Central happens again. I really want to come. Also, if you do another chess set collaboration, I would love to take part. Best wishes, Emmett. Emmett! From Back to the Future. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. I do like receiving a little bit of post now and again. Oh, look at this. Shop dog. Shop dog. Dear Nick, please accept my shakers and coin. Stickers and coin. Loving the channel and Instagram. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you and happy making. Mark. Mark Patterson. Shop dog. Cheers, buddy. And lastly, don't worry, it's not all about me opening my posts. I had to go, uh, I had a go at wood carving. It's kind of like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Hey, look at this. Happy days. Did you carve that? Pretty awesome, mate, if you did. I guess you did. So this is uh, Tomorrow Arts. Yes, Tomorrow. Well, that does look pretty cool. Oh, one more. And this is from Wolf Ridge. Hey Nick, I started wood turning last year and I found your videos. First, I've learned so much from your, from watching them. Ready? I was really hoping to make it to Make Essential this year. Fingers crossed that you will put it on next year. Maybe. I'm including a sticker, it'd be good to get one from you. Cheers. Ed. Thanks, Ed. Happy days. So, just a bit of a post, I got bits and pieces that I had building up, so I kind of wanted to just, you know, open those, show you guys, and thank you so much for sending you in, uh, send, <laughs> sending in your stickers and bits and pieces to me. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love Christmas, so I like opening stuff. So this is gonna be a quick waffle, guys. 2,000 years later. I haven't had a waffle up for, for a while, so I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on a few things. 
So it's nothing special today, although if you like the waffles and like to get some updates on what I'm up to, then please stick around and I uh, hope that you enjoy watching me talk because there is no project today. So I do apologize if you're here for just the projects. There will be one coming very soon. Uh, so make a central, just a quick update. That was really great. It was a fantastic event and I've got a highlights video for you. I will play that at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Not now. Um, so it was a great event. Thank you to everyone that turned up and supported the show. We're still unsure whether or not we're going to put it on again next year. I think we will put it on again. But as for doing it next year, we're not sure. It may be the following year. Or it may be like later on next year. So we're thinking maybe sort of like August, September, October time next year instead of May. Possibly. That's a possibility. If it doesn't happen then, obviously we need to announce it way before then anyway. If it doesn't happen then it will be probably May 2021. Uh, but uh, again, that's as far and as much as I can tell you of those of you that are, you know, wanting to know about Make Essential. Thanks for my t-shirt, Dickies. Also, did you know that we have just opened up uh, Make Essential Hub? Um, now that is basically, you can go in there and you can search around the site. It's a brand new website, part of Maker Central, that we were trying to create something that is like an online magazine that gives benefits to the maker community. So you can go in there, um, there's loads of news articles, guides and things for you. Um, there's a forum and stuff that you can go into and start adding stuff. There's lots of bits and pieces in there. Uh, some YouTube uh, kind of like picks that we thought that would be good for you know putting in there to help makers like yourselves that are just starting out on YouTube and stuff sort of push your content uh, and anything that we thought that was quite good we would push it on there obviously all the views on there goes towards your uh, channel there's nothing to do with us we're not uploading these videos we're just literally providing links back to your sites and stuff, so it's pretty cool, actually. If you wanted to actually become a member of Maker Central Hub, you have that option in there as well. There is a small charge for it, because obviously we need to try to uh, cover the cost of the things that we're doing in there. We're adding in like free prize draws every month for that. We're adding in uh, exclusive videos, so interviews with makers and things like that, which we are gonna be going out and getting. We've also, we've already got already quite a bit of content from Maker Central uh, to show you as well. There's also discount codes from companies as well that they're adding in, so you can get like discounts off of certain tools and things that you might be looking at. So if you're looking to buy a, I don't know, workbench or a lathe, then there's gonna be sort of discounts for you. And they're for members only discounts, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's also discounts off of Make Essential shows, also fast track entries to Make Essential shows. Another cool feature actually of becoming a member is um, you can actually go and create a profile in there and you can add a showcase video. Um, and that will allow you to add in a, a special video that you thought was pretty cool, you wanted sort of people to see. You then put the link in there and that goes on the showcase page. And the good thing about this is, is the video with the least amount of views will go to the top. So it kind of like helps, you know, the, the, those makers that really kind of, one need a bit of a break, you know, to get up there and get known and seen and stuff like that by everyone else. Um, and it's not always about, you know, the number of views that you're getting. So if someone uploads a video and they've got 50,000 views, then they will kind of go down the, the bottom a little bit. If you upload a video and showcase it and you've only got a thousand views, then you'll go to the top so that people get to see your video. Which we thought was a really good idea. You can comment and stuff, you can, uh, like videos and things. I think the like bit might be coming in the future, but it's coming. There's lots more stuff in there anyway, and we really wanted to make sure we added a lot of value for you for kind of becoming a member. So um, please head on over. I will provide you the link for Make Essential Hub below. It is pretty cool. Um, there's loads of stuff in there. We'll be adding content weekly. So new guides, new news. Um, you know, we'll be adding videos and things every few weeks as well, because obviously we've got to go out and get the videos, so we have to do interviews and stuff with makers. There's going to be some more really cool stuff coming to this website as well. Um, so think of it, in a nutshell, think of it as, as a magazine as such, a maker's magazine, 
you know, which you would buy anyway for like, you know, three or four pounds. That is kind of roughly what it is. So, so you've got every type of content in there that, you know, that you could think of. And anything else that you guys would like to see in the website, please let us know. Send us some information. We need your help to try and make it better, you know, and uh, we hope you like it. So link is below, guys. Make a central hub. It's live. So I try not to waffle on too much because I'm conscious of obviously having, you know, talk and talk and talk. Although this is a Waffle Wednesday. I got this the other day. Check this out. So I picked this up. Oh, I did these as well. These are my new uh, steps. This was all kind of concreted, but they were only small. So I put loads of pallet wood on them to bring them out. <laughs> if you're interested. Uh, this is my shop. This is the downstairs part of my shop if you're interested in seeing the shop. I did say I was going to do a bit of a tour, so I'll, I'll do a quick one now. So up here, you've got uh, my kind of area where I do a lot of the stuff up here that, that you know doesn't get dusty. So Charlie the Maker, if you know Charlie, my little boy, he's also got a channel. If you wouldn't mind checking him out as well, that'd be pretty cool. This is where kind of like he's situated as uh, one of his things that he's made there. Little mini pallet, that's <laughs> pretty cool. Um, it's one of his mugs, also available on the website. Um, so you've got my CNC stuff, 3D printer and everything. Um, more bits and pieces over here. So this is like a dust free zone. Um, my little Millennium Falcon I picked up the other day at the car boot sale. 1979 I think this bad boy is. Okay, happy days. Um, so that's my kind of studio kind of area. Um, and then we go down the stairs. <laughs> and then we've got my kind of like table saw, which is a really cool bit of kit. I love this. And a bit of a bench kind of space here. Uh, my lathe, uh, which I've got from Record. And this is where I do all my turning and stuff. And this is another little area that you may see in my videos. And then over here, You've got, uh, which I haven't played with yet, I've bought this X-Carve uh, machine, which is supposed to be pretty cool, uh, but I haven't, I've seen people use it, but I haven't used it yet. Um, but I will be doing some projects on that at some point. And then in here, we've got a little, my little resin room. Hey, you, you recognize that, you recognize that? So that's a separate room because I, you know, I want to keep it dust free. Um, this is what I bought the other day. This is my new anvil, which is pretty cool. This is a really old 19, I think 50s anvil. Um, and I, bought, I got it with this as well, but I'm, I'm not gonna leave it on this. <coughs> I'm actually gonna put it on this bad boy. I got this from my neighbor. It was a, 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 an old, uh, I think it's a chestnut, horse chestnut tree, I think, that came down. So, um, and then I'm gonna put that on, on top of that, really, because it will that will soften the, the blows when you hit it. That doesn't really, you know, it's, it's pretty tough. It's obviously designed for that, but it does actually work better on that. So I'm gonna be putting that on there, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? You know, uh, look at that. So it's quite an old one, and I just probably just need to clean it up. This is red, but actually originally, uh, when it was first made, it was blue. Uh, I don't know why somebody has painted it red, no, no idea. I've also got a really cool grinder now as well, uh, which I got from Multitool <coughs> products, these guys. Multitool products, they were at Maker Central. So, you know, I want to do a little bit of metal working, a bit of knife making and stuff as well, as you've seen. Um, and uh, there's my little attempt of making a blacksmith's knife. It's not uh, finished yet, but that's how far I've got. <laughs> it's not brilliant though, but you know, you've got to start somewhere. Um, drill press, bits and pieces here. Um, I've got a, another band saw here and another one over there. That's my new one from Record Power. This is a really cool uh, saw. I love this one. Uh, this is the Sabre 450. Um, so there we go. Uh, I've got all my dust extraction in here. It's a pretty cool shop, actually. I really do love it. Uh, lots and lots more room to play around with and uh, I got this as well from Evolution the other day. This bad boy cuts through metal. <laughs> it is so cool. And again, I've sh I haven't really done much on this yet either, but I will get around to it eventually. So there we go, there is my shop tour for you, guys. I hope you like it. <laughs> Sorry if this has been quite a long waffle, um, but I say I haven't put a waffle up for a long, long time, um, and uh, Again, I know some of you have joined the channel 
for the stuff that I make and create and stuff like that, and I appreciate that. Um, but some of you also don't mind me kind of giving you some updates and talking every now and again. So hang around, please don't unsubscribe because I put up a video without a project. That does happen on occasions. <laughs> I start seeing my subscribers drop off. But um, it really is every now and again, every now, I used to do it every Wednesday, but I don't now. It's probably every couple of weeks or a couple or three weeks. But pretty much every Friday you're gonna see a project unless I've got something really busy happening. So stick around and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the show. Uh, well, that's it guys. Thanks very much for joining me. Take care, have a fab week and I'll see you all really, really soon. Oh, don't forget to please check out all my links below. I've got Instagram there, which I'd love for you to come over and follow me on. Charlie the Maker, <coughs> my son's channel, please check him out. Uh, where I get my music from is down there as well, and also my resin and all sorts of other links down there you'll find really, really useful. So please check those out, and I'll see you soon. Take care! no events like this. There's events for woodworkers and like, you know, robotics and all this thing and everyone tries. But this event, this is the only one like it. Just nuts. Um, really exciting, energetic. I mean, the crowd's wonderful. I can't believe the scale of this thing. It's right. unreal. It's, un it's amazing. I like how, how it's bigger than last year. They surpassed it. Like, it's even better than last year. It's super exciting. <laughs> Brilliant, you know, I spend all day in a shed, mostly on my own, and then you come out, you know, all those numbers on the screen, they are actually people. So epic, it's so cool to see like all these makers that I've heard about on YouTube and Instagram. It's so nice to see the kids walking around with things that they've made, you know, little robots and stuff, and the families come in and join, join in. It's been amazing. I mean, I, I came last year and I'm just so thankful I got to come back again this year. It's a, it's a great facility, so many great makers here, uh, so many great vendors, uh, lots of people, friendly people. We're having a great time. It's the second year we've had a stall. It's been fantastic. It's been really busy. We've met so many people. It's been amazing. I love it here. I mean, there's so much, like, there's a freaking dinosaur. <laughs> Honestly, it's been absolutely incredible. Like just like looking around and seeing faces you recognise, having people come up to you. Great turnout and really chuffed. And we really do hope that we've you know made everyone happy. Really, it's been really good. I've talked to so many people this whole weekend. It's nice to inspire and and teach people, but always like keep climbing the ladder. This is so much bigger than I expected. Just uh, having so many people to meet and things to see and actually getting to contact with people you have been talking to online. It's, yeah. it's phenomenal.